For aviation enthusiasts worldwide, Cessna is a household name. The Cessna Aircraft Company, now owned by Textron Aviation, is one of the largest general and business aviation manufacturers worldwide. The manufacturer is known for producing well-known aircraft types such as the 208 Grand Caravan, the Citation Family, and of course the 172 Skyhawk. The 172 is a single, piston-engine high-wing trainer aircraft that seats four people including the pilot, and after taking to the skies for the first time in 1955, the Skyhawk quickly became the most produced aircraft in history, with over 44,000 individual airframes being produced in its 65-year history. The 172S variant continues to be produced by Cessna's parent company Textron, ensuring its continued success into the future. The 172 was based on the original Cessna 170 aircraft, which featured a conventional tail dragger landing gear, and featured many of the same characteristics as the first produced 172. The aircraft has evolved with the increase in technology throughout its history, with 21 variants of the aircraft being produced. The 172M was the most produced model of the Skyhawk, with 7,306 being built in its four years on the production line. The M model introduced the newly designed camber lift wing design, and had the option for increased avionics in the form of a second communication stack, an ADF, a transponder, and even some variants of the M model also had an optional addition for larger range fuel tanks. Cessna also expanded on the versatility of the Skyhawk, introducing models like the 172RG, which included retractable landing gear and a constant speed propeller. Although this particular adaptation wasn't successful, with only 177 of the type being built. The 172 is one of the most common trainer aircraft and holds its ground against its competition trainer aircraft, including the Cessna 150 and 152, the Piper Cherokee, Archer, and Warrior, and now more modern aircraft including the Diamond DA-20 and the DA-40, along with the Cirrus SR-20 and SR-22. In fact, more pilots over the years have earned their wings in a 172 than any other aircraft in the world. So what makes the 172 so successful, and why does it continue to be produced today? Well, the 172 has some of the best all-around performance required for the usage as a trainer and a general aviation use aircraft. With relatively low maintenance and ownership costs, the 172 is the perfect aircraft for flight schools and first-time aircraft owners. The aircraft can also be adapted to fit the needs of the owner, including aftermarket avionics, autopilot, engine monitoring systems, and refreshed interior to make the aircraft more suited to individual usage. These aspects are what Cessna took advantage of when designing, adapting, and marketing the aircraft. So let's take a look into some of the performance specs for the 172. The 172's max cruise speed is 125 knots, with a stall speed of 42 indicated knots in a clean configuration. It's got a usable fuel of 38 or 48 gallons in the typical M model, which equates to a range of about 435 nautical miles in the standard M model. The max gross weight of the aircraft is 2,300 pounds, and the aircraft has a takeoff and landing performance of 865 feet and 520 feet, respectively, for the ground roll. Now keep in mind those statistics are for a fully loaded airplane at sea level. Overall, the performance of the 172 is well-rounded for most conditions of flight, including strong takeoff and landing performance, a decent usable load, and a cruise speed which can get you to and from your destination, on average, about two times faster than a car. The 172 can also operate in the utility category, which allows for the completion of maneuvers specifically related to obtaining a new license without exerting unnecessary stress on the airframe. One of the other advantages of the 172 that has made it so successful in the market is the cost of the aircraft. Depending on the age, condition, and specs of the aircraft, a used 172M can go from anywhere from $50,000 to $150,000 Canadian dollars on average, making the old but sturdy aircraft type suitable for all kinds of general aviation flying. But if you're not into the used aircraft, a brand new 172 SP featuring the Garmin G1000 suite and top performance specs of any 172 available on the market can set you back anywhere from 200,000 to 400,000 Canadian dollars. When compared to the cost of other new aircraft such as the Diamond DA20, which go for over 600,000 Canadian dollars, this is a much more affordable cost for flight schools looking to add to their fleet or pilots looking to get into aircraft ownership. Overall, the 172 has demonstrated success in the aviation market and holds the title for the most produced and most successful aircraft in aviation history. Let me know in the comments if you've had the opportunity to fly a 172. 
whether you shared any awesome moments like your first solo or completing your license on the aircraft type, or if you haven't had the opportunity to fly the 172, what your favorite trainer aircraft that you have flown in is. I look forward to seeing your stories in the comments, and of course, until next time, happy flying.